Hello and welcome. This is CBSE Class 9 Daily Math video, and we are discussing how to solve problems such as these in this particular video. I hope you are following us along and you have subscribed. If you have not done so, please click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that every day when such videos are uploaded, you will be immediately notified. Also, please do check out the website risingpearl.com if you want to practice these kinds of problems on your own and see how you are able to apply the knowledge that you are learning from these videos. Let's get started. Now we have learned before from our earlier grades that if we have a natural number a which is raised to a exponent m, if you multiply this by the same base a but this time raised to the power n, where m and n are also natural numbers, we know that this can be written as a to the power, we simply, simply add the exponents. What are natural numbers? Natural numbers are simply a collection of numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to plus infinity. This collection of numbers, we call them natural numbers. So if a is a natural number and m and n are also natural number, then we know that this is always true. Similarly, if we have a raised to the power n divided by a raised to the power n, in this case we can write this as a to the power of m minus n. And then we have learned if we have a raised to the power m and the entire number raised to the power n, then this is simply a raised to the power m times n or simply a raised to the power m n. And finally, we know that if you have a raised to the power m times b raised to the power m. So here the bases are different, but the exponent or the power to which they are raised, they are same. If we have a situation like this, we can simply multiply the two bases and together they will be raised to the power m. So each one we can think of them as laws of exponent. Now, what appears to be true is that the laws of exponents can be easily extended from natural numbers to a scenario where the base a is a positive real number and the powers or the exponents are rational numbers. So here we see that in each of these problems our exponents or the powers they are rational numbers. So it seems to be the case that we can easily apply all of the laws of exponents that we have studied in our previous grades, previous classes. We can apply them easily to these questions. So let's take a look at each one of them individually and figure out how do we apply them. So let's start with the first question. So whenever we have a problem like this, our goal will be to break down the big number, which is the base, into prime factors. So we can think of 81 as 9 times 9. So let's put the bracket around like this because we are trying to break down 81. We are not touching the, the exponent. So we, let's write the power like this. Or we can write them here. So we want to now break down the number 9, so which we can write it simply as 3 times 3. And then for this 9 again, we have to write it as 3 times 3. 3 times 3. And now the entire thing is raised to the power and number is raised to the power 1 by 4 equal to now we have how many 3's here 1 2 3 4 so each one is raised to the power 1 so we can say it is 3 raised to the power 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 entire number is raised to the power 1 by 4 or we can say it is simply 3 raised to the power 4 which is raised to the power 1 by 4 and we can write this as 3 raised to the power 4 times 1 by 4 or 3 raised to the power 4 times 1 is 4 by 4 cancel out 1 3 raised to the power 1 or simply 3. So this entire expression is equal to 3. 
let's clear this out let's move on to our next problem so the second question is very similar to the first question so we will start by breaking down the base into smaller prime numbers so we can think of it this way so we can because this is an even number we can divide this by 2 so that it will be 2 times 2 3 is a 6 and 2 2 is a 4 so we can write 64 like this and it is raised to the power 2 by 3 or here we can write 32 as 8 times 4 an entire number is raised to the power 2 by 3 now we have the number 2 8 we can write it as 2 times 2 times 2 so let's do it over here 2 times 2 times 2 so this is 8 multiply by 4 is simply 2 times 2 this is 4 an entire number is raised to the power 2 by 3 so what we have here is so how many 2's do we have so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so again each one is raised to the power 1 so this will be simply 2 to the power 1 plus 1 plus 1 so it will be 6 and this is raised to the power 2 by 3 or when we multiply, we'll multiply the numbers. It will be 6 times 2 by 3. Or 2 raised to the power. So this will be 3 ones are 3. 3 twos are 6. Power 2 times 2. Or 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. Now, what is 2 raised to the power 4? We have to multiply 2 by itself 4 times. So if you do that, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So this number is equal to 16. Let's take a look at a third problem. Now here we have same bases, but the exponents are different. So we can think of it as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. So this must be a raised to the power m plus n. So let's take that approach and apply it. So we have the same base, but we are going to add because we are multiplying. So we're going to add the exponents. So it will be 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5 or base which is 2 LCM will be 5 and it will be 2 plus 3 or it will be 2 raised to the power 2 plus 3 is 5 by 5 or 2 raised to the power so this will cancel out and be left with 1 power 1 2 power 1 is simply 2 so this entire expression is equal to the number all right, let's take a look at the next problem. And this is the one where we have a rational number and even the bases, they look different. And the exponents are again raised to rational number. So let's take the knowledge that we have learned from the previous three examples and apply it here. So what we are going to do is we are going to solve the numerator denominator separately and see what it gives us. So let's do it over here. Let's give ourselves more space. So we will solve the numerator. So 34, we can write this as 8 times 32, I should say 8 times 4. It is raised to the power 2 by 5. 2 by 5. And the denominator is 64. We can think of it 8 times 8. Raised to the power 2 by 3. Equal to. So for the numerator, so we have 8 is 2 cubed, meaning 2 times 2 times 2, 4 is 2 squared, an entire number is raised to the power 2 by 5. So let's write it over here, 2 by 5. And for denominator, we have 8 is 2 cubed, 8 is 2 cubed, and it is raised to the power 2 by 3. So you should be starting to see how, even though we started off with different bases, but now the base is same, which is 2. So let's keep solving this. So for the numerator, now we have 2. Now when we have the same base, we add the exponent. So we'll have 3 plus 2, 5. And it is raised to the power 2 by 5. And similarly here, we have the base 2. It is raised, so 3 plus 3 is 6. And we have 2 by 3. So here we have 2 and now we will multiply these two exponents so it will be 
5 times 2 by 5. And here we will have same thing we'll do here. It will be 2 raised to the power 6 times 2 by 3. So let's do it over here. So 5 and 5 will cancel out to be 1 and 1 times 2 is 2. So it will be 2 raised to the power 2 divided by for the denominator. So 3 times 1 and 3 times 2 is 6 and 2 times 2 is it will be 4 power 4. So here we can take the 4 above it will be uh, 2 raised to the power 2 minus 4 or 2 raised to the power minus 2 which we can write it as 1 by 2 square or 1 by 4. So this entire expression is simply 1 divided by 4. Let's take a look at our final problem. So here we have different bases and let's see if it is if it is power the the exponent is 1 over 3 1 over 3 like this. So what we do here is we know that the bases are different however the exponents are same. So we can easily apply a power m times b power m this particular law of exponent it will be a b power m so if you apply that so let's do it over here so we have 4 power 1 by 3 times 54 power 1 by 3 so we can write this as 4 times 54 power 1 by 3 and now we will try to break it down into smaller prime factors. So 4 we can write it as 2 times 2. And 54 is an even number. So we can divide this by 2 if we do. So it will be 2. So then 2 twos are 4. And 14 so it will be 27. And the power over here will be 1 by 3. And we can further write this as. So now we have here how many 2's. We have 1, 2, 3. So it will be 1, 1, 1. So this is simply 2 q and 27 is nothing but 3 times 3 times 3. Entire number is raised to the power 1 by 3. So here we have 2 to the power 3 times this is 3 to the power 3. So we can write this as 6 to the power 3. Entire number raised to the power 1 by 3 or 6 to the power 3 times 1 by 3 so this will cancel out to be 1 6 to the power 1 or simply 6 so this answer is 6 so if you are enjoying these videos don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon and if you want to practice similar problems on a daily basis please head over to risingpearl.com